Hi guys, this video took me a while to make because I was collecting data, evidence to prove that this is actually accurate. Just kidding. But seriously, I am a firm believer of what meant to be for me will not be taken away from me because as long as I stay positive, strong, consistent and do the work, I will have it no matter what. Then why would it matter if I like to share my plans, goal, manifestation or dreams to others or keeping it to myself? Well, I like to update. That will not be the case unless you rather take a dangerous old rusty roller coaster or super bumpy roads to your destination that might cost you your car, your money, your energy or even your life. Then please exit this video. By the way, that's a metaphor for the dangerous roller coaster. Don't hold me accountable just yet. Stay and let me get my point through you. There are going to be six chapters in this video. We are going to go into scientific proofs. How our mind works between talk and action, intrinsic versus extrinsic motivation, social media, the inner circle and energy, manifestation talk. And trust me, you don't want to miss a thing. Especially if you are like me, stubborn and want all type of evidence before you just shut up and do the work. Why? Convince me. Make me shut up. Okay, enough. <laughs> Let's get serious. Hi, my name is Delilah. Let's dive right in. The silent strategy. Why keeping your goals quiet boosts success. Have you ever noticed that sharing your goals can sometimes lead to a false sense of accomplishment? Slow down your process. If not even giving up on your goals or everything started to fall apart. In today's video, we're diving deep into the psychology behind keeping your ambitions under the wraps until they become a lifestyle. The real move in silence and shock them with the result, not let me make a post on social media and let everyone know that I am about to move in silence. Did you know that researches show that 85% of New Year's revolution, including goals like hitting the gym, changing lifestyle and read 52 books a year ended up falling through maybe only a short period of time. Join me as we explore the reason behind this high failure rate and how the initial excitement of sharing goals can lead to a false sense of commitment, hindering the actual process. Scientific proven that announcing your big idea will rob you out of your motivation, the positive feedback you got from others. Hey, keep going. So proud of you, blah, blah, blah. Activate certain reward system in your mind and give you temporary dopamine. The mind often confused talking with doing, preventing you from actually putting in the work. So keep your goals and new habit to yourself until they become a lifestyle. Then you can share your secret. And by then, honestly, you don't even need to. They will see the changes, growth, and want to know what are you on? What type of mindset have you been working on? They want to peek to see it. You don't need to speak anything. As I experienced personally, people don't believe in your dream, sadly, until they see it become reality because they don't have your ambition. So there's no need to seek for validation. The motivation won't last unless it's intrinsic motivation, which is the most powerful motivation because it comes from within. How you want to improve your life for your own good, how you want to level up your life and achieve your purposes, your goals, is the most powerful motivation. There you go. So give your tongue a break and take the action instead. Social media, let's talk about social media. Stop the scroll and think twice before hitting that post button. I used to share a lot on social media and it's not because I was seeking for validation. Maybe there's a small part only, but I simply want to inspire other and I'm just excited about my goals. However, broadcasting your goal on social media might not be effective as you think. As I learned from my own journey, most people roll their eyes at ambition and extrinsic validation isn't the key to success. Instead, focus on your own motivation, the real drive force that will actually last. This doesn't mean not to share with anyone. The inner circle, your small circle matter most. You don't need a cheering squad. A small supportive corner is more than good enough. A few good close friends or family member who are truly supportive of you. That's all you need. Don't share your goals unless they are key players in your plans. Outside people 
don't believe in your dreams. Why? Because they don't even believe in themselves. You know yourself. You know your ambition, your uniqueness and intrinsic motivation that will carry you through. Imagine if you have a change of mind. You will have to explain to them later. And worst case, if you fail, getting over failure is already hard by itself. Imagine you will be reminded. It will be so much harder to move on because your mistake is known by public knowledge. I bet you didn't think about that, huh? Energy and manifestation. On a spiritual note, yep, I'm going there. As I personally witness this cover how sharing your goals can attract negative energy and jealousy the universe operate on energy balance and if other feels inferior negativity may manifest against you unconsciously or not just through the energy that they send out you do not know what these people are thinking or feeling for example yes i agree that what meant to be for you no one can take away from you But do you need the extra challenges coming from negative energy? We live in a world of energy. The more people know about your business and know about your success, if they feel inferior, the universe is not doing this because it doesn't like you or it doesn't want to be in your favor. It just is like there's going to be darkness. It has to be balanced. It has to be yin and yang. So by sharing with too many people, Before it happened, even if they think positive about your manifestation, negative will happen because it just imbalance. There you go. Boop. Here's some negativity to balance it out. So, shh. There's a time to celebrate, but if you're not even there yet, don't overshare your dreams to other. This is from my own experience. I overshare because I believe in it. I want other to believe in it. But it's not others' business. It's your business to get up and make things happen for yourself. It's not others' job to hold you accountable. Even if you just want to inspire people or simply craving for connections, but do that when you are already success. Don't show your own cards at your table. Don't be an open book. Remember, you are still trying to figure it out yourself. Your idea might be stolen purposely or unconsciously. Protect your journey. Keep your dreams close and let success speak for itself. Your success story is waiting to be written by you. The best chapter are often those are being kept close to the heart. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comment below. I want to see have you ever faced challenges by oversharing your goals, or do you believe in the power of vocalizing your ambition? Let's create a community of insightful discussion about this subject. If this content related and resonates with you, if you ever felt like the power of keeping your dreams close and you are watching it until the end, support a home girl by hitting that like and subscribe button. Like the post, become a part of our dream chasing family. Stay tuned for more insightful content on achieving your dreams. Sending you guys so much love and light. I love you guys. Bye bye.